Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. Let me tell you something. First of all, how you doing? Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it. Also consider donating to the Cash App. Really helps out. Now let's get back to business. Let me tell you something right now. Don't think for a second that these boxers that we have out here aren't going to be trying to jump the street and fight MMA boxers, MMA fighters in an exhibition bout. I'm telling you what's going to happen. Now, I'm not going to get into numbers of what James Tony did when he went over to the UFC. I'm not talking about that. I don't care about Pauli Malignaggi and bare knuckle boxing. What I'm telling you is Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor, right? You're talking about each of these guys making nine figures. You know, it raked in more than 600 million, over 4 million, 4.3 million in pay-per-view sales. Understand this, if Tyson Fury and Francis Ngannou, if they can come out here and do 2 million in pay-per-view sales, let me tell you something. These boxers, it's all about money right now. And I don't care what Dana, Dana White says with some of these fighters he has over there on contract. Guys are retired, but still under contract. He won't even let them come over and have a boxing match just to make huge money. That's horrible. But... Even Dana White knows if it's that kind of money out there, he's not going to turn that down. Let the MMA fighter come over and box. If they lose, they lose, okay? If a boxer wants to go to the MMA world, let him go over there. If you lose, you lose. It's two different skill sets. You understand? But I'm telling you all right now, I'm going to be watching very carefully with Francis Ngannou because I'm telling you right now, if he comes out here and makes what I believe he's going to make, like 15 million at a minimum. And if he and Tyson Fury, let, I'm not, I don't even think they'll hit 4.3 million. But let's say they do a couple million. Because the bottom line is, right? Boxing fans are one thing. MMA fans are a whole nother, that's a whole nother species of fan. You understand? They will spend their money on a pay-per-view event. They will have a huge party. They'll get drunk. They'll go crazy. Like that's a that's a that's a whole different world right there. And I think they're going to come out to support this Tyson Fury, Francis Ngannou stuff. Understand that. These exhibitions, they make money. Something about Floyd Mayweather traveling around fighting a bunch of nobodies. The man is getting paid. You just need to have the right person, the right persons, get into a ring or an octagon. And I'm telling y'all, y'all need to pay attention, man. I don't care. Floyd Mayweather, Conor McGregor, the money fight. Let me tell you something. Any pay-per-view event, fighting wise whether it involves two boxers, two MMA guys, or a boxer and an MMA guy, if it's doing over $1 million in sales, that's a money fight. And that's what it's all about, okay? So keep your eyes open. Pay attention. Because I think right now, MMA fans, the way they spend their money, they're going to force some of these boxers into exhibitions. You got Austin, no doubt, Trout, out there bare knuckling because he can't get fights. He got to wait six, seven, eight months just for fights to materialize. He went on record and talked about that process. Not in that MMA world, not in that bare knuckle world. You're fighting. But if they can get those crossover bouts, let me tell you, I'm going to be watching because I have no doubt that everyone is going to, all these heavyweights are going to be waiting to fight in Francis Ngannou and Tyson Fury cracks, cracks the code and breaks the bank. I'm telling you they're going to be trying to fight them. And going forward, they're going to be trying to fight everybody else over there in the UFC and the UFC fighters are going to be trying to fight boxers. And Dana White's going to have to figure it out. Seriously, because he can't make those guys fight. He can sit there and, you know, basically, you know, uh, put, them on the, put them on the shelf. And that's not cool. But Dana White's all about his money. I just think at some point he needs to sit there and just make the crossover fights. Let him fight. It's not going to hurt the UFC's brand. It's not going to hurt the MMA fighters' brand. We all know in a street fight, the UFC fighters, they're kicking and grappling and all that shit. If, once it goes to hands and they're getting their ass beat, they're going to take it to the ground. And then that's a whole other world. And the boxers at the disadvantage. Okay? Simple. That being said, keep cool. Talk about the money fight. Any fight that does a million over a million in pay-per-view sales is a money fight. And I think when you get the right MMA fighter, the right boxer, you can have one million easy. Don't be surprised if Tyson Fury and Francis Ngannou do two million. Because those MMA fans are going to keep forcing boxers into exhibitions. That being said, y'all keep cool. Shout out to the veterans, all seven continents. I'm going to watch this Diego Pacheco fight. Yo, in the breeze.